Talk Sport with Neve Owen. She joins us. And those Jared Hayde, that Hayne train, those rumours continue today. What's going on? They certainly do. There's rumours today that up to six NFL clubs are interested in signing Jared Hayne, which, of course, we heard him announce during the week that he's leaving rugby league effective immediately, won't play for the Kangaroos. <laughs> and I think he could even be off to the States as we speak, looking to sign with an NFL club. Has not done that yet. One man who knows the kind of journey that Jared Hayne is going to be on is Paul Manera, former um, college football player, former coach of the Australian Gridiron team. Paul, thank you for coming in today. Thank you, Nate. What did you make of those rumours this morning that perhaps up to six clubs are interested in signing Hayne? Well, I must admit I was mildly surprised. It's only been about four days since he's made his announcement and uh, yeah, I was, I was quite surprised to see that there were six NFL teams already interested in him. Um, yeah. But do you think he's actually not revealing that he has already teed up something and then made the announcement? Well, I think in the NFL it's a very competitive market and you might have, you know, the NFL has a lot of money, so maybe they've given him the opportunity to try out. And, uh, but I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard to tell. He's, he's keeping his cards uh, close to his chest. So. We can see some of his skills here on the rugby league field. How transferable are those skills from rugby league to gridiron? I think all the skills are transferable. Uh, I think that the, the biggest thing that's not transferable is the game sense, and that's what he's got to learn. I think he has the, you know, he has a basic level of athleticism. He has, he's a good athlete, uh, but he needs to learn the game. So, you, so it's not just enough to be a fan. No, it's not just enough to be a fan. No, I don't play it on the PlayStation. Or, or PlayStation. No. Yeah, or, you, you know more than anyone. You played college football in the, in the America in the United States. Uh, how difficult is it? And I'm sure you're well aware of the, the game of rugby league. How difficult is it to make that transition? How how different is the game? Well, the game the game is very different because uh, in rugby league uh, there's no blocking. Okay, and there's no forward pass, so that adds a, a lot of different dimensions to the game. So, Jared, uh, he's going to learn how to, you know, he has to learn how to use his blockers, you know, when he runs with the football. It's not about just getting the ball and running to the open space. It's about reading the defence, uh, running behind your blockers, having an understanding of the different defensive fronts that um, he's going to come up against, and he has to understand how to run in such a way that he helps his blockers to be more successful so that they can help him be more successful as a running back. So when AFL players have previously made this transition, of course that's more common, um, even though it's on the whole very rare, did, did, have they had those issues about having to relearn all of the instincts in the sport? Well, they not really, because they operate in an isolated skill movement, which is just punting the ball. Whereas in, uh, so they just have to get the ball and punt it. But in Jared's situation, he has to get the ball and run with it, but he has to understand exactly what his teammates are doing so that he can complement them and so that he can be successful because if he doesn't follow his blockers, if he doesn't read the defence correctly, he's not going to hit the right landmark or the right point of attack and the player's not going to be successful. So that's what he needs to understand. There's so many quality athletes and, and people in the United States that are trying to break into the NFL. Do you think people are going to take the time to teach Jared Hayne what is ultimately the absolute fundamentals of the game? Well, it depends on the uh, franchise in the NFL. If they've got uh, the coaches who are open-minded and want to have the patience to work with Jared, great. If they don't, Jared's going to have to find a group of people. Uh, he's going to have to find himself a running backs coach if he wants to be a running back. And then he's going to have to find a group of people, say, like hiring a team of people, like players, that uh, that coach can work with to develop his game sense. And so it just depends, you know. That's the point, though, isn't it? Why would you take a punt, excuse the parlance, on this guy when you've got so many athletes coming through the American college system? Well, again, it's, it's, it's you know, um, there's a couple of reasons why you would. Uh, one is the NFL is a global brand and it's trying to expand around the world. The NFL plays games in England and so they're trying to expand their markets and their ideas. So there could be um, that angle to want to help a person like Jared. Um, <coughs> The other thing too is we don't know how much money Jared is investing in this himself. He, is he just investing time or is he saying, okay, I'm going to get some money together and I want to pay some people to help me uh, so that I can really learn the game and fast track that learning as much as possible so that when he does get a chance, he can hit the floor running. Because he's not going to, you know, they can't be teaching him the basics when he gets there. He needs to have a good sound understanding of the fundamentals of his individual position but also, as I keep coming back to it, the game sense and the nuances of the different 
things that he's going to oppose. He's need, he needs to go through all of that in practice. Very briefly. Yeah. Do you think he'll make it? I think he can make it. Um, I, I, I haven't measured him in his 40. I don't know how fast he is versus the opposition. I think he can make it. I, I would say that if I was Jared, I'd look at a 24-month plan, not a 12-month plan. Paul Manera, thank you for joining us today. We look forward to following his progress, as I'm sure you do as well, in the lead-up to the World Cup next year. Thank you very much. And thank you to Neve. That's all from us here at Weekend Breakfast for today. Melissa.